the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the advanced level of the Bahrain tournament for falcon and hunting. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the remarkable efforts exerted by the organizing committee of the tournament. The tournament was attended by the President of Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and members of the royal family. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the closing ceremony of the second edition of the Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa Leadership Program. 23 Bahraini participants aged between 22 to 30 took part in the program organized by the Nasser bin Hamad Foundation. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa commanded the program, which achieved the objectives that reflect the aspirations of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to foster young leaders and groom them. He hailed the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad to promote future leaders. His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa stressed the unwavering support of the wise leadership to promote young qualified Bahrainis to hold leading positions in ministries and government departments. Bahrain has continued to be an attractive destination for investment on a national, regional and international scale throughout 2015 and the leadership remains committed to facilitating private sector investment as a main driver of sustainable long-term economic development. More details in this report with Daniela Deporto. 
Throughout 2015, Bahrain has remained an investment hub. It benefits from its global position, being at the crossroads of East and West and neighboring the GCC's largest market of Saudi Arabia, its membership of the GCC and major FTAs with nations such as the USA, and from micro factors such as its advanced infrastructure and competitive cost of doing business. Perhaps even more importantly, Bahrain's leadership continues to promote liberal economic policies, like the recent deregulation of the logistics industry, as part of a strategy to encourage private sector involvement in diversifying the economy and promoting sustainable development. Bahrain is the freest economy in the MENA region, ranking 18th globally in the 2015 Index of Economic Freedom released by the Heritage Foundation and Wall Street Journal. According to the most recent UN World Investment Report, foreign direct investment, or FDI, reached almost $1 billion last year, with percentage of GDP at 55.4% and inward FDI stocks of $18.8 billion, the highest in the GCC and well above the global average. Nevertheless, the momentum to expand upon these strong investment credentials has remained strong throughout the year, with a renewed focus on encouraging the youth, innovative entrepreneurship and SMEs. We don't just want to look, focus on attracting the large companies. I want to attract the young companies, the companies that can choose to grow in this system, in this environment, and become world leaders. Yeah, we'd like to see also more of the culture of investing being uh, promoted in Bahrain, especially with young people. Investment in Bahrain begins at home. $24.5 billion worth of development projects are currently in the works, including mega projects being implemented by public and private companies in the industrial, tourism and construction sectors worth $17 billion, and Gulf development program projects covering health, infrastructure, education, housing, social and other government services worth around $7.5 billion. We're seeing significant new investment come in, whether it's the GCC Development Fund, a lot of uh, sort of government holding companies are investing in various uh, projects and the private sector is very definitely back. I think the, the real estate sector in general is looking much stronger, the price dynamics are positive, this has brought in uh, growing numbers of GCC investors once again. So in spite of the very challenging regional and global environment, things are looking good, things are looking very robust. Increasingly, interest from the emerging economies of the East has benefited the GCC region in general and the Kingdom of Bahrain in particular. One of the things that these countries did fantastically well over the past 10-15 years is capitalise on the unique location that they have at the crossroads of three continents. You know, the Chinese are looking in this direction, they're looking to mobilise more of their capital internationally, thinking in terms of a Eurasian economic space, the new Silk Road, there is growing interest by Indian companies. I think in general what we are seeing in Asia is uh, countries seeking to mobilise more of their capital outside of their home countries. And at the same time, of course, one of the things that Bahrain has done very well is foster entrepreneurship. And I think this again is attracting foreign interests, partly because you have a local pool of talented individuals here who can, if they are utilized right, serve as a springboard for the broader Middle East region as well. Meanwhile, major international events hosted in the Kingdom, like the 2015 MENA Investor Summit, First International Entrepreneurs Investment Forum and Pre-Money Conference hosted by Silicon Valley giant 500 Startups, have exposed the Kingdom's favourable infrastructure, resources and regulatory environment to the wider world. Investors are going to be encouraged. If we can see people coming in from the US and Europe, and beginning to say this area is interesting and we think there are interesting entrepreneurs and we're willing to raise funds to invest in them, then that must tell us something. That must tell us that there's opportunity here and what better than the businessmen and the investors who are familiar with this area to actually participate as well. Ultimately, while Bahrain's investment climate has a lot to offer the world at large, it will be the kingdom's inhabitants who reap the biggest rewards and reinvest them for ongoing prosperity. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.